Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Recent reports from Bloomberg have unveiled discussions between the United States and Turkey concerning the acquisition of additional explosives, a move aimed at bolstering the production of artillery munitions in support of Ukraine. Sources familiar with the matter disclosed that the United States is eyeing Turkish explosives such as trinitrotoluene, TNT, and nitroguanidine, crucial components for manufacturing NATO standard 155mm caliber munitions. This collaboration has the potential to triple production capacity, reflecting a significant effort to ramp up support for Ukraine amidst ongoing conflict. In a late February update, the Pentagon announced a contract with General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems to establish three production lines for the metal parts of 155mm projectiles in Texas, with Turkish subcontractors playing a pivotal role. The facility, slated to commence operations in June, underscores the strategic partnership between the U.S. and Turkish defense industries. According to Bloomberg sources, Repcon, a Turkish defense company, is projected to manufacture 30% of all 155mm artillery shells produced in the United States by 2025. Additionally, the United States Department of Defense has finalized the acquisition of 116,000 combat-ready artillery munitions from Turkish defense company Arka, with delivery scheduled within the year and additional orders anticipated for the following year. The collaboration with the Turkish industry and the investment in Texas has been underscored by the Pentagon as vital for fostering a global defense industrial base. With Western officials indicating a significant uptick in American and European ammunition production in the coming years, major defense contractors and smaller suppliers are gearing up to meet heightened demand. In Europe, the ASAP program has been launched to accelerate the production of ammunition and missiles, allocating a budget of 500 million euros to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities and enhance European security. This initiative reflects a collective effort to address the munitions supply crisis and strengthen defenses, particularly in light of evolving geopolitical challenges. Meanwhile, Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House, has signaled plans to draft a bill aimed at providing support to Ukraine, distinct from the version approved by the Senate. The proposed legislation is expected to offer assistance in the form of loans or lend-lease agreements, underscoring the commitment to aiding Ukraine in its defense efforts. Additionally, considerations have been made regarding the separation of aid packages for Ukraine and Israel, reflecting the nuanced approach required to garner support in both the House and Senate. The collaboration between NATO members, exemplified by the partnership between the United States and Turkey, underscores the collective commitment to strengthening defense capabilities and fostering cooperation in the face of shared security challenges. As efforts to bolster munitions production and support Ukraine intensify, the potential for deeper collaboration between allies remains a key aspect of shaping the global defense landscape in the months and years ahead. That's all for now, see you later.